Is this really difficult or am I just stupid? Do you ever get a Christmas gift that you never asked for? Well, I did. One gift that I got that I never asked for is this Harry Potter scarf that my friend knit for me. And I'm not mad about it. She knit this or crocheted it. I don't know the difference. I just know that they're different words. But she did something. Oh my gosh, it's legit. I'm in Hogwarts now. I don't know if you knew that, but Gryffindor for life. One of my other friends named Tara G didn't know what to get me, so I said, Tara G, get me something that's fun that I would never get myself, ever. Not only did Tara G meet those expectations, but she exceeded them to sky high heights and got me something that I would have never in a million years gotten myself, Legos. Now here's the thing, I never played with child Legos ever. I've snapped pieces together when, you know, just in general, I think everybody in life has snapped Lego pieces. But this is clearly made for adults. You can tell by the packaging and the price tag because I definitely looked it up and Perigee, you did not need to spend that much on me. These adult Legos definitely differ from the child Legos, which this right here I have because I'm getting it for my nephew for Christmas. So nephew, if you didn't know what you were getting for Christmas, now you do. Whatever. And this has a million pieces, not really, 751 pieces. I'm super excited that my friend Tara G got this for me, but I feel like it's gonna be very difficult. All the pieces are like the same three colors. You have black, white, and gray. There's no variation. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be hard, but I'm excited at my ripe old age to put Legos together for the first time. Yeah, I don't know how to open the box. If I can't figure out how to open the box, I'm not gonna be able to put this together. Hold on, I need some scissors. Oh, it's so hard to get out of here. Excuse me, first I'll be right back. Don't you go anywhere. I'm back. I told you I would be. Tara G and I used to work at the Walt Disney World Resort together in entertainment. We would see this show Fantasmic that they had where the grand finale was on the Steamboat Willie. So I think that's why she got this for me. But when I can't open this. But when I first unwrapped this, I didn't know what to do at first. I was just kind of staring at it. I was like, she got me Legos. And then I was like, she got me Legos. How do you open this? Oh, ooh. Okay, so it opens like this and there's lots of Um, okay, so uh, some of this was open, but others have different colors on them. This is supposed to be all black and white. Why did I get... I don't think this is all Steamboat Willie. Oh my gosh, there's so many pieces. I'm low-key overwhelmed, and we have these bags with colored pieces in them. I'm not really understanding um, why. This picture does not match this bag of pieces. I'm not a genius, but I don't have to be to figure that out. Oh my goodness, the pieces that have colors on them are on the inside of the boat. It's telling me there's three bags, and each bag is different pieces. Bag one, we'll need this first. Bag two, bag one. Why are there two bags? One, two, and two, three, one. Why are there three bag one? Three, three, two, two. Oh my God, there's a lot of pieces here. And what are these? These are not, I mean, these are obviously part of the boat. They're, oh my gosh, I need some adult supervision. Number one, do I open up all the bags, number one? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm genuinely feeling very overwhelmed right now. You know, I've done enough hard things in my life. I got an MBA in 11 months. I can do this freaking Lego set. I'm gonna open up all bags labeled number one. Step one, it says, put together Mickey Mouse. Okay, I found Mickey's head. Um, this is a little bit disturbing. Oh, here's his hat! 751 pieces. I just put two together, so that's 749. 
People do this for fun? I'm afraid Tara G is gonna watch this and be sad. Yes, I am very stressed out right now, Tara G. I put something together. We have Mickey Mouse. This is like looking for a needle in a haystack, looking for the exact piece that you need. How do children do this for fun? How do children have the patience to look for Lego pieces? Is this what I was looking for? No, this isn't what I wanted. I know there's some child out there in the world who could just look at this pile and just pick out the piece. Some kids are good at this stuff, and then some kids are Jameson. This is the piece I was looking for. Is this really difficult, or am I just stupid? Don't answer that in the comment section. Do not. There is definitely a learning curve to this. The interior pieces are multicolored, I think, to make it easier to put together. Here's a contraption right here that kind of spins. I've only been doing this for 20 minutes, but it's getting a lot easier. I have these three things, do not know how they're related, and I'm excited to find out. These Lego people are geniuses. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just being like, uh-huh, uh-huh, I'll snap that piece there, and look at this. We don't even need the steamboat, will we? This is good, not really, but how does this even fit in the boat? Right now, it is 9.35 p.m. I started this at 7.30, so it took me two hours to do all of this. Even though I work tomorrow, I wanna to finish this boat tonight. I'm on page 65 of this book. There's, you know, a lot more pages to go, so I need to get started. So everything was going great. I had a groove going, but I made a mistake. This row right here on the diagram is one thing up, but I can't get it off. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I tried using the scissors to get it off and it isn't coming off. My nails, well, I don't have any. I'm gonna try a pencil. <clears throat> oh, I got one. I got another one. The lesson that we've learned today is um, make sure you follow the Lego instructions exactly before you snap them in because my fingernails feel like they are completely destroyed. I'm sure I edited that really nicely down into a few seconds. That took me a few minutes. Be careful, kids and some adults. It's 11.06 p.m. I'm tired. I work in nine hours and this is what I got so far. But I'm not giving up. I just have this. Stuff to put on, but look at the smokestacks. They do, 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 like you know, like in the movie. They it's a short, but they yeah. So it does that. This is pretty legit. With the directions, they have the previous direction. They tell you what's new, and you just have to kind of figure out where it is. And sometimes it's kind of hard. Also, I don't know who thought of Legos, like who puts these things together, but they're geniuses. Like how do you? Oh my gosh, no! Oh no, no, no! What, the, the smokestacks fall on the floor. Hold on. There we go. I got Okay. I'm not putting that in the video. Anyway, so I have to put together Minnie Mouse. Minnie, where are you, Minnie? Minnie. Oh, there she is. She's right here. Where's your guitar, Minnie? Minnie? Where's your body? We are missing. Oh, there it is. I just hit a major milestone. I put the paddles on. Look at this. Just look. Just look. That's all I have to say. Just, oh my gosh. It's 11.40. I'm so ready to be done. Unfortunately, I'm not close. I'm having fun, believe it or not, at this point, but I'm tired. 12.30 in the morning. I have a bunch of extra pieces everywhere. I don't know where they go. I cannot get the smokestacks to fit right, but this looks really cool. Other than all that, look at this. Wow. I've spent four and a half hours doing that. Oh my gosh. So this is it. This is Lego Steamboat Willie. This is awesome. I will keep this forever and ever. I need to figure out the smokestacks because those are really cool. But other than that, I don't care. Mickey and Minnie need to be on it. They're on it. I need to go to bed. That's what I need right now. I'm going to bed, okay? This was fun. I shouldn't have done it all in one night. That was a mistake, but I had fun. Thank you, Tara G. It is a new day. Actually, it's a few days later. I am awake and I finished the boat. I'm not sure if I did the smokestacks right. They're not very secure, and that's why I was having trouble with them earlier. There's a lot of little details 
like the music, this bucket, and this potato bin. There's supposed to be this anchor though, which isn't here because one of the pieces wasn't included. It wasn't like I couldn't find it. It literally wasn't there. But I don't care. It looks great. Look at that. That is awesome. Thank you, Tara G. I'm singing the Steamboat Willie song in my head. I would play it, but it's probably copyrighted and I don't want to get in trouble with the Disney law. Would Mickey fit in there? Can he fit? Heck yeah! Wait, no. Mickey cannot really see over the steering wheel. He's kind of short for it. Not exactly like the cartoon. You know, a little bit of a height problem there. This was awesome. Thank you, Tara G. Merry Christmas to you. And thank all of you for watching this video. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day.